Well, December has been a very long month, and uh, but luckily there's been some good Christmas colors uh, in there and uh, a lack of some Christmas colors in there as well. Pretty much what we've been doing all season. So we'll take a look at that. Just a reminder that uh, back from a week's vacation this week, so sorry for missing a few episodes. Hope you guys understand. And uh, yeah. That's about it. Just, uh, oh, somebody's back on the boil, too. Teaser. Teaser. You have to come back after the uh, intro to see who that might be. Hey guys, RC here, back with episode 27 of Play the Kids, our youth challenge with Tiverton Town here in FM21. Don't forget, hit the like button if you like what I'm doing. Uh, subscribe for daily football manager content. And you know, I look forward to reading any comments you guys might have below. So taking a look since last episode, uh, we had a 1-0 victory over Ebb's Fleet, Tony Doyle with the goal. 4-3 over Stockport, Tony Doyle with a hat trick. Graham Williams came off the bench and found the net. Uh, his second goal since coming back from injury. Uh, a 4-2 win over Maidstone. Doyle, Williams, Hemmings, and Mudge with the goals there. We drew with Torkey 2-2 uh, in the FA Trophy third round. Graham Williams with the brace. We had to do a replay just a couple of days later. We beat them 2-1. Williams getting a goal, and Curtis Brunt getting another goal. Uh, and that is uh, switching to a three-back tactic uh, with two up top. And then uh, we played a, sh a small friendly 2-0, Graham Williams finding the goal twice in that one. And it I was told it was a historical win. So uh, we have highlights with Chorley and Oxford City today. Uh, we'll skip over the new Saints friendly. And then we have Hull in the FA cup third round so let's get to the highlights real quick we'll show you guys the goal scoring leaders uh i need to unfilter the unavailable because obviously there is a name missing there robin mudge is out with an injury uh, he'll be out for five more weeks twisted ankle and that was suffered against torquey on december 16th so he's already been out two weeks and five weeks more to go. Very similar injury to Graham Williams. So this is Williams' chance to reassert himself as the goal leader. But those long injury stretches could keep both of these guys from challenging the 40 goal mark. Maybe. Because we're at 25 and we're only halfway through the season. So we could have uh, possibly 100 goals between our two strikers. Fingers crossed. Uh, we have had other people scoring, but it's it's been a two-man show here. Uh, Tony Doyle, eight goals, 14 assists for Carmichael uh, in 25 starts. So he's looking really good there. But, uh, yep, so that's what's going on. So let's get into the Boxing Day highlights. Well, that was short-lived. Uh, this is uh, the second match in a couple of weeks. It's been uh, postponed due to a waterlogged pitch. Uh, this one uh, was the away leg, so not our fault. Uh, but that won't be rescheduled till January. So two more days, we'll be back for Oxford City. And St. James Park is also waterlogged. So the match against Oxford City has been pushed back into February. So now I don't think we have any highlights to show you guys. Uh, I still have to play the friendly, but then we'll come back for Hull in uh in a couple of days just scrolling through some of the emails uh so the board i've got an a plus grade c minus on transfers uh by the board but a b from the fans which that's usually reversed so that's interesting uh they were upset about our loss to torquey and disappointed with dave hugel's recent performances uh quentin hemmings has moved up into a team leader role we haven't had a team leader all season since we got rid of those other of the players in the off season. I would like to see Williams move up into that role too. Looks like we'll double our attendance. Uh, we're averaging about thirty five hundred. They're looking at about seven thousand. So 
Uh, Hull will bring about a thousand fans, so that's not bad. <laughs> Especially if we can get a win. Uh, that would be great. Uh, Hemmings is looking really good. We've signed him to a new contract just to extend it, you know, just to try to keep him off the books for other people. So Mudge is still out. We loaned out Perinello. He just wasn't playing enough, and I want to get him elevated for next season to where he can start for us or move into that, you know, move up into the into the squad there. So a back four of Taylor, Hemmings, Tierney, and Is Cuierto. Humphreys, of course, in the goal. Nuevo and Ellis in the mid. Ireland, Carmichael on the wings. I want to compare these two guys. Scopey's faster, has better vision. A little bit better attacking, technical. Ariel goes to Scoby. Mental defending go to Carmichael. You know what? I'm going to put Scoby in there. And then Doyle and Williams up top. Doyle getting the start with Mudge being out. He has picked up quite a few starts this year. Five. I don't know. Do I want him or do I want Cook? Cook's got three goals, two assists. Doyle has eight goals, three assists. I think I'm going to go with Doyle. I think that's what we're going to do. We're back to the 4-4-2, or the 4-2-4, I'm sorry, that we usually play. I've been mixing in that, uh, that three at the back tactic. Let's go out and cause an upset. A little overcast. We are in pretty solid form. They are not, so that could give us an advantage, possibly. Uh, but talent goes a long way too, right? Uh, it's not all about... Oh my goodness, and Humphreys jumps on that. I couldn't see where the ball was at, but it looks like it came off the woodwork. Uh, I think we got a little lucky there. We're going to go with more encouragement. They are very happy with that. Oh, it's a deluge. I swear, they've got a Roberts, they've got a Bamford. I think I'm playing Leeds United. And it's Boyes with his first goal of the season, of course. Of course. Of course. You know, we're only halfway through the season. They bring on a guy that's never played before, probably has never seen a, a ball, a football in his life. And, yeah. All right, Taylor. All right, Ellis, that's a good position for us. Laid off to Izquierdo. Back into Ellis. Over the top, and it's headed away from Williams by Mancilla. And, you know, what? That was that's a play that we score on a lot in our league at our level, <laughs> right? Over the top again. Williams is on to it. I think he got pulled up in the box. No? He just gave up on that run. That's not good. Would have liked to have seen Hemmings control that one a little bit better. Taylor gets beaten on the tackle attempt. And I think that was Hemmings that went up to try to head the ball clear. He either mistimed it or he was just out of position. And it went right over him. And right to the guy he was supposed to be marking. Taylor should have had that ball. Yep, it's Hemmings. Way off. That was It was Tierney's man that scored, but Hemmings did not uh, look good there at all. At all. All right, don't let him score a third one here, guys. That would not be good for us. Keep him pressed out. Taylor with the tackle. Let's him get by. And a shot. And Humphreys knocks it down and then falls on it. Ooh. Okay. 13 shots to two. I think we're going to have to mix it up here in the second half. Let me go see what we're going to do. All right. We've switched it up to the 4-3-1-2. We're going to demand more coming out of the locker room. And we get a highlight. I don't know that anything's going to come of it, but nice little flick on header. 
Reversed field. Scobie's there. Squared into Ellis. Oh, there's a nice in ball. And Williams doesn't get the shot off. You know, that's one of those ones you just go, yeah, we should be scoring that. All right, we've got a couple of guys. We've got a lot of guys underperforming, but we're going to start with Scobie. We're going to put Carmichael on. We're going to pull off Nuevo and bring Bliss on into that number 10. Scobie can't get there and do anything. Williams is not even trying. I, I'm not seeing... Not seeing the leadership, I would like to... Oh, my God. That was just a poor pass. Gave it away. Come on, defense. Hemmings misses another header. I'm, I'm not surprised that we're losing this game. I'm just surprised we look like such utter shit. That's what I'm surprised about. See, like, you know, you need to be able to see. There's nobody up there. Control the ball. All right, Doyle's on it. He picks out Bliss. Bliss ahead to Williams, and he gets it through the keeper. That's number 26 on the season for Williams. And that makes it Tiverton 1, Hull 3 in the 61st minute. Don't need to rewatch that. It's Bamford. Another header on goal. Our wings are looking bad. Our... You know what? I, I don't know. Do I pull off... Do I pull off my center back who... It's, the game says he's playing well, but he's looked shit every time we've seen him. Or do I pull off one of the tired players here? All right, let's bring Cook on. We're going to move Doyle to the wing, and we're going to make him an inverted winger on attack. We're going to go attacking. Let's demand more. Hemming can't get to the ball again. Is Cuerto having a horrible game? Nothing coming out of this. Just, you know, we just weren't in this today. And, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chalk that up to just overall talent. You know, they're just a better side. I can't get really mad. You gave everything. Keep them motivated. Let's get back to the league. And, you know, again, this is where we wish we would have had the away game with a sellout. Pocket some money. Are they going to give us any money for that? I doubt it. <laughs> They probably said, you don't deserve that money. Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. All right, well, we're going to call that an episode then. FA Cup is done. Uh, FA Trophy, we're not getting a lot of money for that, so I'm not worried about it. Let's come back at the, at the beginning of February. That'll get us through the transfer window, although we don't really have a window at this level. It's just the transfer window that's ingrained into my brain. So let's get a run of games. We'll come back Feb beginning of February. We'll see if we have any new players. We had an offer out on a guy, and then as soon as we made the offer, another team came in for him. I wonder if that's an AI coding thing, because I see that a lot. Uh, not just up with me, but other channels that I watch, where you know, you've know you got this guy, your scout's presenting, you make a bid on him, and then as soon as you've made the contract offer, all of a sudden you start seeing other clubs coming in for that same player and you're like well that's kind of odd but anyway we'll be back with oxford city highlights and hartley pool uh in the next episode guys hit that like button subscribe for daily football manager content and let me know should we should we have been more competitive in this or am i on the right page thinking that we were just outclassed talent wise and of course graham williams he got the goal for us. We'll see you guys. Take care. Bye.